tactics. All right, well, I think um, there were only two big mistakes, which probably cost me the game. Uh, the first mistake was putting my scimitars back here. Uh, initially, I thought of like, I could try to get the angles on the two buildings for the objectives. That way, in case he got in, I could try to hopefully kill the guys with masonry shots, which sounds a lot cooler than it worked out to be. Um, I did yeah, those buildings were huge. Yeah, I mean, even just take, taking damage points away to try to kill you that way. Fives up, five ups to, to even hit you was kind of rough. Um, cool in theory, not so cool in concept. Uh, the other problem I had was I brought my tanks in on this edge right here and shot right down the middle. Uh, I should have done that. I probably should have put them moved up to about here and deployed instead of going full tilt out. Uh, just trying to catch them a little bit that way. Or trying to catch them off guard and have them spend a, a turn shooting my tanks and leaving them open with everything else. Uh, so I should, probably should have done that differently. One thing I think I really did right though was put my anti-air right here. Uh, that way I got two, and once again, angles on both these buildings. Um, so if he brought his guys around, I could reaction fire and shoot into, or if he brought anyone over here, I could reaction fire and shoot into. Because um, my anti-air just kind of ripped apart his air force with little to no trouble. Especially his drop ships at Armor 5. Just paper planes at that point. Um, I think that was about the only like really tactical decisions I did right or did wrong. Um, really can't think of anything else that was glaringly awesome or glaringly horrible. Overall impression of the game though was very very good. Um, just messing with looking at some of the units and how the force organization works and how the game plays. It's an incredible game. It is a lot of fun to play. Definitely fills that niche with I mean, the sci-fi warfare, you know, long-range thing that it's kind of missing 40k for a little bit, which is still a fun game, but like this kind of is a little more tactical than 40k. Um, it's got the scale that 40k has, so like it very makes it look cool. Uh, you can really kind of envision your mind what's going on, like the buildings blowing up, tanks just being destroyed. Makes it feel really awesome to play. It makes it more fun to play. So hopefully in the next, you know, couple months here, my uh, my army will kind of blow up and get bigger, and we'll play some uh, hopefully actual point value games and these little battle box skirmish kind of games. Cool, man. Okay, guys. Um, first impression of the game. Let me get this out of the way first. Drop Zone is a wonderful game. Uh, I wasn't sure about it. I. Uh, Wanted to get another game in the store, so I cracked it up in the two-player kit. I uh, had Ponin in my back, he's also my employee, which was awesome, so we tried a lot of games together. Um, sat down with the battle box, put the stuff together, read over the rules, and both of our minds were blown. Uh, we were long-term 40k players, uh, still are, I took a really long hiatus from the game, hopefully 7th edition changes that, but um, it really filled that niche. Uh, it's that epic scale huge armies, stuff blowing up, buildings blowing up. Um, I was really surprised at how balanced the game is in terms of anti-air. Um, everything's very rock, paper, scissors within the game. Um, so your anti-air sucks at blowing up tanks and vice versa. So you don't have that one crazy powerful unit that you spam, spam, and spam. Also, the force organization chart of the game doesn't allow you to spam everything, which is great. Um, so you never have that, that net list. Uh, you always have diverse lists, which is really cool. Um, okay, as far as the game goes, um, tactically, I think there was one thing that I did. I can't, I can't remember what it was, but I know as soon as I did it, oh, um, I basically came out and left, uh, left my uh, dropship completely out in the open for his anti-air just to, just to start blowing up. Uh, I was lucky in that he whiffed, um, but had he just been rolling even average tonight, uh, I would have given him my dropship, which wasn't necessary. Other than that, uh, my, my tactics worked. Um, I really, I came on and I wanted to just swing around. Um, and what actually allowed me to do that, when he brought his tanks on, I could just single them out because they were out in the middle of nowhere. I wouldn't have any other issues with any suppressing fire this way. Um, so I decided to, obviously I had to bring my infantry on because I, I wanted to threaten an objective across the board. But everything else kind of pushed this way. Once I got rid of his tanks that quickly, uh, I knew he was going to struggle. Another thing that I noticed, his tanks back here, his scimitars, as, as, as he mentioned earlier, I believe he really, really kind of screwed up the deployment on them. Uh, even just with this building, 
killed one of his big fire lanes, so I, I could just kind of hide. And uh, one thing I will say about this game in particular, how we designed the map, uh, which we didn't realize until we started playing, I really think it favors my army a lot more than his. Um, I can move nine inches and fire nine inches. Uh, my guys are very, very fast, much faster than his. And with all the buildings and all the terrain, um, I could just, you know, pop the, pop the whole way over, hide behind this building, and he could move four inches and not see me. I could fire, then move back nine inches behind another building. I could uh, cross entire gaps all in one turn. Uh, so I had no issues with staying, staying away from him, and I think that's why uh, this game kind of went the way it did. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please, please leave feedback. I do apologize about the lack of uploads. Now that I found another game I'm super passionate about, uh, you will see weekly, uh, definitely weekly uploads of at least one. Uh, opponent and I play, we'll probably be playing this game twice a week, so you'll see I'll battle report every game we play. You guys can watch our armies grow together, which will be cool. Um, and we'll continue to you know, talk about the game, let you guys know how the game scales, because right now, like I said, we're playing BattleBox. BattleBox with like one other unit. So we'll see how the game scales. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys like what we're doing. And uh, yeah, leave me some love. Till next time.